Hi, my name is Todd Hata. Welcome to my channel. Uh, if you haven't been here before, I travel around the world. I make travel videos and photos for tourism boards, brands, tour companies, hotels, that kind of thing. On this two month trip to Mexico, I brought the PackSafe VentureSafe G3 15 liter bag. You can see this thing is tiny and I fit everything here into this bag plus have some extra room. I'm able to just carry this on everywhere, on small planes, on buses, never have to check luggage. I'm gonna show you how everything fits into this pack safe bag. The secret to packing light is merino wool clothing. It's quick dry, it doesn't smell. You can wear it multiple times in a row before washing. And I just wash in the sink and then hang dry it. It usually dries within a day or less. Icebreaker is my brand of choice. I have with me, so I have two short sleeve shirts, a long sleeve shirt, a sleeping shirt, and sleeping shorts. These are also running shorts. Um, two boxers. I have some long underlayer pants, um, which are like thermals because it's been cold in some parts of Mexico. And the icebreaker pants, which are very lightweight. These things weigh, I think, about nine ounces and they dry really fast. So, oh, and then also my jacket. This is the icebreaker windbreaker with a merino wool lining inside. So it actually keeps you warm as well as dry and keeps the wind off you. Oh. Then also my icebreaker socks. And I have three pairs of socks and you could wear these two, three, four days in a row and they don't even smell. It's pretty amazing. And then I'll just wash them in the sink and dry them. For my electronics, now I'm shooting right now with the Sony RX107. I have the Osmo Action, the Osmo Pocket. And for photos, I'm strictly using phones so I have the Pixel 3 and the Xiaomi Mi 9 SE. So between these two phones, I'm always connected. I have a Mexican SIM card in one, Verizon in the other, and then my MacBook Pro 13 inch, various hard drives, chargers, battery pack for the phones, and uh, yeah, a little bit of toiletries. One thing I really like, it's a plastic flask. It sits flat on the side of the bag so it doesn't stick out and fall out like some of the bigger round bottles do. So let me show you how this all fits into this tiny 15 liter bag. So what I use is e-bags cubes and basically you just roll So I'll roll everything up and then put it in the cube. And usually I'll take a little more time to roll carefully, but for the video, I'm just doing it quickly. So we'll put about five to six items per bag here. Just squash this down. And they do wrinkle, but especially the long sleeve shirt, but all I have to do is get it a little bit wet and let it dry, and then it gets rid of the wrinkles pretty easily. And the biggest things here are the pants and the long sleeve shirt. And the jacket. And roll the jacket out. And roll the jacket in here. So these two e-bags cubes side by side and then I got an e-bags padded case 
and this is for the electronics. So I put my hard drive in here. I got two hard drives. I put the Osmo, Osmo Pocket and Osmo Action. Uh, what else? Laptop chargers and cables. And so that all goes in there. And this one goes on the top, but all my cables just fit easily into these Muji clear mesh cases. And these are really nice for cables. They're from Muji, a Japanese company. I actually got the first one in Tokyo years ago, and then I found the same one here in Mexico for half the price, only $250. So, such a deal. So, just all the cables into one. And then all my miscellaneous stuff in the other batteries. I got so many extra batteries. Shaver, microphones, chargers. And so that goes in the other. I got my Fitbit, which I'll wear. And another th new thing I just got are these reusable silicone Ziplocs. And these are really nice, just from Amazon. So I'll put some of my chargers in here just to keep them flat and keep everything separated and organized. So just like that, now that's flat. So this fits right in the front. The Muji's fit in there. I got so much room. Then I'm gonna put the laptop. Usually I take off my hard drive, but I'm uploading some videos right now so I'm just gonna toss this in the bag all right so like that we got the final e-bags and there's still lots of room in here I wouldn't believe how much there's Get all that empty space. Then in the front, I got the battery. Got my extra phone. That goes there. And then the water bottle on the side. Oh, I forgot my socks. <laughs> That's what I forgot in part of the... That's what I forgot in the cube was the socks, but I'll just throw them on top since there's lots of room. And you can see, still a little bit of room in here. It's not fully packed. And I have room, I could put my jacket on the side. And once you put this all on, you can see how small this is. Look at that. Now this bag, you can easily walk around the city and not be bumping into people get on and off the plane real quick, just slide it under the seat in front of you. Cool thing I like about these PackSafe bags, they have all these security measures. You can connect the zipper ends together and then you can put these in this little attachment. And now no one can unzip the bag when you're on the Metro. You could also slide a little lock through it if you want. And another feature on this back side, you can remove the strap, you could put it around the chair leg, and slide it back in, lock it. Now nobody can just walk by and swipe your bag and there's also a place to put a padlock. So this is really nice on the buses here in Mexico. When you're on a bus for hours and you have to use the restroom, I just lock this, lock it around the seat. Nobody can take the bag and no one can get into my bag to steal anything while I'm using the restroom. Uh, also, the Metro, too, and it's slash-proof, so if they slash your bag, there's a metal skeleton inside, so the bag's just not going to rip open and have everything fall out. So, yeah, this is the PackSafe VentureSafe G3 15 liter and Icebreaker Merino Wool Clothing. Those are my two favorite things for travel, and they keep me traveling light. Just traveling with one bag is so much easier. 
So you could start with a 40 liter and just work your way down. I have a few bags that are 13 liters, 15, 18, and I usually never go above 18 liters. Thanks for watching and pack light.